Okay, so as I was saying, um, we have a similar workspace to Premiere. Um, what we're going to start doing is just by bringing in that file that we exported. So we're going to say File, Import, choose the file uh, that we did create. So I'm going to go into my Character Animator folder and select my video that I named as the wrong place. All right, and then once it's into our project, we're just going to drag it down to our timeline and that will make um, a sequence out of it. Now, we can scrub through here with our playhead like we did in Premiere. And probably the first thing you'll notice is that you don't have sound when, uh, when you first are scrubbing through. If you press the control key, you can start to hear sound. Um, if you want to hear it though in a live preview, what you have to do is press the space bar and you'll see that this line is going to start turning green above your layer here. All right, so what that's doing is it's rendering the video. And then uh, hello. if we play through again, we should hear it. I'm not sure if I'm in the right place. I don't know what place. I have my speakers configured on. Hi, Johnny. My name is Miss Sauer, and I'm the principal here at the Ocean County Vocational School Brick Center. Are you looking for an education in a hands-on trade? So there's our sound. So this you green know, bar on the top stuff. here has to be, um, or it has to be green. So, and you press the space bar to what we call render that. Now, I know for my movie, it looks like I don't have the whole thing in here. So I may want to change the duration of this. To do that, I'm going to go to the composition pull down and go to composition settings. And once this comes up, actually what I'll probably do is go back and see what my time was in character oh, animator no. so I had 33 seconds I'm gonna round it off because I want some time for credits for mine to 40 seconds so if I go to my duration in here and I press 40 and press OK it will extend my timeline and now I can see where my video kinda ends and then add some room to there so when you guys exported you may have had some extra space. Um, another useful tool that you can use to kind of crop it, you can either drag the edge in and that will crop the, the duration of your clip or you can just move your playhead and you press the right square bracket and that's going to trim that as well. So if you have extra space in your timeline, you can either drag the end out or you can press that um, the square bracket and that will trim your video all right any questions about getting your project into After Effects does everybody have their project in After Effects all right so now we're gonna go on to adding titles all right and that's why the primary purpose why we're using this because we can't really do that in um, character animator there's nowhere to be doing titles so the first thing we're going to do is go up to our text item here. Actually, let's uh, let's rewind our our scrub our um, playhead, and let's say we want about five seconds of titles or our opening title. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my playhead to five seconds, and I can see that for my time code here. You could also just type that in manually, and then I'm going to move the duration of my video so that's not going to start till five seconds all right so you can either position your your playhead there or you can type it in, in your time code to get very exact and press enter and then we're going to move the duration of our video to be at that point so we're going to basically be creating five seconds of empty space here at the beginning to add our titles all right so to start with our title we're just gonna grab so move your playhead back to zero we should have this blank space here created all right I'm gonna click and drag and I'm gonna type in here the wrong place with a question mark because that's the name of my title all right you have all of your formatting options over here on the right so you can change your font um, you know to whatever you want you can change size you can add strokes and things like that. Um, try to find something kind of a little more decorative to be using since it is a title. However, though, what we're going to do is we're going to add some 
more type of uh, emphasis to it with uh, some preset animations. And this is another reason why I really, uh, why I've chosen to use After Effects because we can do something a lot more creative than we could with Premiere. Um, so we're going to put our text in there. Now you notice, is this text going to stop at five seconds by looking at the timeline? Everybody should be about the same. Is this text going to stop at five seconds or is it going to keep going? And how do we know that? Right, well, and the, the bar here, right, the, 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 the graphic shows that it's extending there, all right? So what we want to do is trim this. So I'm going to hold the shift key and it should snap right to this point. And then I'm going to press that square bracket again so I can trim that um, layer so that it stops at that point, all right? So, and that's what's called creating an out point, all right? So now we've put in our text and we can see that it, it goes away when our scene starts. All right. So any questions about putting in text and trimming that? All right. So now we're going to um, apply some animation to it. So with this layer selected, I'm going to go up to uh, animation and then browse presets. All right. What this is going to do, and it might take a couple seconds to, to uh, happen, but it opens Adobe Bridge. And this is going to give us a nice live preview of all these credits or these animation presets as they're called. So once Bridge opens up, I'm going to go into this text. Um, actually, no, wait, I don't think it's, it's, uh, we want, do, 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 yeah, I guess it is text. And animate in typically is what we want. So now if you press them, you should see that you get a little preview. Where is it? Oop, that applied it to it. Where's my preview window here? Oh, here we go. If I press preview. So there's a couple tabs over here. If you press, make sure you have the preview tab selected. And then you can click on um, each one of these and see what the effect is going to be. All right. Otherwise, we would have to apply them in After Effects. And if you don't like it, you need to undo it. So, um... This is, I think, a little bit better way to preview the animations. Unfortunately, it doesn't apply the text that you have in there. That would look kind of cool, I think, if you could do that. So this would be the Animate In category. Um, you also have some other things that you can do in here, like graphical. You can see that you know there's some snowflakes. You have this white trim. Um, there's all kinds of things that you can apply here that are all animation presets. So once you find one that you like, like so maybe if I wanted this one. All right, so I guess we would just have to remember what that one is. It should, I thought we were going to be able to apply that directly to it. Let's see if there's another way. So really, I guess you just have to recognize the folder it's in. So for this one, I'm in graphical. So, and then, so what we'll do is once we kind of know which effect we want to use, we're just going to go um, to window, effects and presets. And you could actually just type that into here, whichever one that you chose from bridge, it will um, find that. So this one was bars blinky. All right, and there it goes. So it found it. And now all I have to do is just drag it onto my text. And now if I press my space bar, we have that text uh, effect applied to there. Uh, hello? My name's Johnny. All right. I'm not sure if I'm in the right place. So I'm going to... All right, the other thing I want to show you how to do is kind of a little bit more of a manual animation. And this is going to be kind of what we're going to be doing with our next project. So I want you to move your playhead to the end of your time of uh, your scene. All right. And we're going to create um, our credits. All right. So I'm in the black space here. 
all right kind of we see on our screen and now I'm gonna type in my text so I'm gonna say directed by and these are the things that you have to have in your credits or I'd ask you to put in there shrink this a little bit um, artwork by and edited by alright so we have that text created and now we're gonna learn how to just manually have it go up the screen and have it roll alright now we can see here also that our credits are going to extend the whole video anybody have an idea what keyboard we could pr uh, button to press so that it starts at this point if we use the right square bracket to trim this the other one so it ended here we would press the left square bracket and it's going to create what's called an endpoint Oop. to click on the timeline thing here all right and I can so I just trimmed it to there the other thing you could do if you don't remember keyboards just click on the edge of the the object and drag that over all right so now my text isn't or my credits aren't going to start until that point all right and now to animate it what we'll see in all of our After Effects layers is if we click the arrow in the layer we can start to kind of see some things that were similar to Photoshop so if I go open up the layer and then open up the transform property now we see our stopwatches that were very similar to in Photoshop right so if I want this this text to roll up I'm gonna be keyframing my position so at this starting position I'm gonna have it down on the bottom alright and what I'm going to do is have it kind of come up to the middle of the screen and just stay there. All right, instead of rolling off the screen. All right, so that way people can read it because it's not a lot of text here. All right, so now what we have here is our text. It's going to roll in. It's going to stay there for a couple seconds. And then we could, uh, you know, we could trim the video on the end. All right, so to export this, we'll just do file, export and add to Adobe Media Encoder. There is a render queue which only produces an AVI file, so I guess I wasn't poking around enough to see that originally. So this is gonna open up just like we did at a character animator, and just be careful, you know, how you're naming files. Let's see if it's coming in here. Aiden, did yours add? Yeah, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is just click on here, and I would write on here like final right because this is our final video here with our effects applied actually I would be missing some background music is basically the only thing I'd have to and I'm missing a picture also but we set it up we should have H264 and then press play and if all is working correctly now we have um, this dynamic link server which is linking the files together and now it's processing. I can see my preview down there. That looks weird though. I guess just because of the frame rate. 